concentration camps were given some help with our government. But the only group, the only group that still has the crawl, the bang for crumbs, is African Americans. And I'm not talking about African immigrants. I'm not talking about folks that later on have immigrated to this country of, of, of black skin. I'm talking about descendants of slaves. We still are the ones that have to beg and crawl for some problems. Are you kidding me? So what interests me is, in your view, like the black people are a different group and not part of the society, and so we shouldn't... Oh, we are more part of society than the society itself. So, because... We are bled in every conflict well, in the, for this country's security. But should we judge the people based on their individual actions or the group from which they you, come? You are under a false premise. Which is these questions premise. you're asking, these questions you're asking, is trying to develop parity where there is none. Parity? No, I just said Okay. We're only, we're only I mean, what? 18% of the population? That's our, to our uh, total. The, the black people? About, about 18, maybe, maybe even 15. I think it's more right. or less, but. Uh, well, but okay, anyway, the it number, matter. It doesn't matter. But the number, the the number is important. Yeah. Well, the number says something. It says that we will not get this willingly different things unless we fight for it. We have. Why can't you? Why can't you just be treated equally and fairly like everyone else? Well, you should ask other white folks about that. <laughs> but I, I, I'm, uh, but I'm in favor of treating everybody equally. But you said. Well, you're there are a lot. There, well, there are a lot of people the same color. Your skin is not that way. Right, right, but do you judge me okay. based right. on what other let white people do or let me, what let me, I do? Let me give you an example of a wholesale movement of white people when it, when there was a, a particular thing that came out of the White House. All right? President Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act. That's all right? right? Well, within a was year... White, black? white. My point is, within a year or two after that, folks wholesale junk parties. All right? went from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party, which used to be the party of Lincoln. Now, the reason they did that is because they don't want to see an entire culture of people gain parity in anything. I think you mean the reverse. They went from the Republican to the Democrat. They? Think again. After Johnson. Think again. Johnson was a Democrat. Think again. Nixon. Think again. Think again. No, no, you aren't, talk aren't, about most, aren't most black people all Democrats? Most black people want to belong to the Republican Party before the Civil oh, Rights Act. So they jumped from the right? Republican Party I'm talking party about what white folks did. White folks almost in mass left the Republican Party. I left the Democratic Party. That's what in I said. In mass. And, and by jumping, and they this was... And this Republican was and, party? And they left the Democratic Party. And went to, they used to be the Dixiecrats. Right. Well, anyway. The Dixiecrats was, was the racist part of the Democratic Party in which blacks never felt like they were a part of. So they were Repu they were Republican since Lincoln so until the, the Civil Rights Act was passed. So regardless of what they do, you do, you got a paper. You don't know that. Let me ask you. So regardless of what I do, you think I'm responsible for actions of other white people that live in? He, okay, I, like I said, you can fight the fight for equality of blacks in this society if that's what you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in colorblind. Laws, colorblind society where people are treated equally regardless of their color. In fact, well, it bothers me to call somebody a black or a white or anything. I think that this is disgusting. We should, this is an American citizen. We should all be treated the same. That's my view. Well, you, you're, you're in a minority. You you're in a minority. But you agree with that? Isn't that all? Of course. Of course, that's utopia. But you're in a minority when it comes to that in this country. Well, let's change that. You and me. like saying being equal. Huh? Let's change that, you and me. You and me, you get a head start. You got a head start, and then you want to say, let's now be treated equally. You know, universities... Are you going to do an interview, too? No, universities <laughs> have done legacy, have been legacy admits for generations, and it's white men that get admitted to the legacy. I thought it was a very interesting... Georgetown is all saying to the people here at the university. What do you know about white people? As I said before, I think you are going to be able to My point is, what do you know about white privilege? Well, I think it's some white people who seem to be other white people who are crucified. And 
Do you know that German prisoners of war were treated better than black soldiers on post? Do you know that they were treated better than black soldiers on post? Do you know that they were treated better than black soldiers on post? Here's what I'd like to see happen. And this is something that you as the, as the larger culture could help with. If we could possibly... I'm a larger culture, I'm just one guy. <laughs> but you, you're rep, you represent that culture. I don't represent white people. I represent human beings, Americans. Okay, those, those human beings who have the same, same skin That's color as I you. That's what I would like. No, I, I don't represent people okay, based on the same skin color. I'm going to throw something I, at I you. Like I'm I'm gonna throw I, I judge people based on the character, the content of their character. Okay, the 